time to play! Swim? <gasps> Lovely. Beautiful. All right. Yes. To the hot spring. No peeking. <sighs> well, very well. Gotta cool off. <sighs> How's the water? Of course, spring is sprung. <sighs> Don't get carried away. Beautiful. Hey everyone, Guardian E here with another Camilla Emblem Clear video in Fire Emblem Heroes. Today, taking on the Reaper, Death Knight, in his very own Grand Hero Battle on Infernal Difficulty. So the ominous Death Knight, out of three houses and into heroes, and on a map that is remarkably similar to the map that you first encounter the Death Knight in three houses. So the threat in this map is, is really relatively low. It's not that difficult of a map at all, even on Infernal, uh, and even for Infernal standards. But before we get into that, we can take a look at the Death Knight himself. He comes with his own Scythe of Sariel, which gives him a minus one cooldown at the start, so a slaying or killer effect. And as long as there's an activated buff on the enemy that he is attacking, he'll get basically a plus four to all of his stats, which is pretty great. Uh, and the foe can't make a follow-up attack against him. So it's actually a pretty unique weapon. I, I kind of like it. So just a couple of quick things worth noting. Death Knight himself comes at a zero turn cooldown with his Blazing Flame, so if he initiates on you, he's going to proc that area of effect special. This uh, Axe Dragon off to the side here, he does come with aerobatics, which means that he can kind of swoop in and fly in on the defensive tiles, and he is, of course, equipped with a Rally Defense and Res Plus, so he will be able to come in and, and boost all of his allies in this area, and that'll, of course, further be bolstered by the fact that they're on defensive tiles, right? But aside from those two things, everything is really straightforward. Uh, the best way to approach this map is just by using a really, really tanky unit. Preferably a tanky green would be uh, probably the best choice, and thankfully we have a couple of those on our team. And really using the enemy terrain to your advantage. So the enemy is stuck here in this base using the defensive tiles to their advantage. So you just want to kind of offensive bunker and place yourself on the defensive tile as well and just basically tank everything. <laughs> uh, eliminate any of the threats to your allies and then and then tag everything. Now another thing worth noting is that the enemy does not move or engage you unless you bait them. So you can use all of the turns that you need to organize yourself, organize your buffs, do whatever you need to on the opposite end before you engage. So speaking of tanky greens, this is more or less going to be the Spring Camilla show. And I just made a couple of small adjustments to make the battle that much easier, or that much quicker, I should say. So we've got Spring Camilla merged at plus 10 with a speed asset, Gron Raven Triangle Adept, Reposition, Draconic Aura, 
Goad Flyers for the C slot and a Distant Defense 3 for the Seal. I went ahead and put Quick Repost 3 on her B slot just because we're going to be sending her uh, sort of in the, in the middle of the enemy forces without any buffs. Uh, and without the speed buff, she's not going to be able to reliably double. So I just put the Quick Repost on her to ensure that she would be able to double some of the enemies. And honestly, that's more or less it. I don't even know if I need to show off the other Camillas because I haven't changed their kits and they don't really do a whole lot in the course of the map. But I, I guess we can just show them uh, plus 10 vanilla for with a uh, speed asset, Camillas Axe Reposition, Draconic Aura, Distant Counter, Renewal for the B slot, Hone Flyers for the C slot, and Chill Attack 3 for the Seal. Uh, we have Summer Camilla here. Fury, Desperation, Blarblade Reposition, Draconic Aura, Goad Flyers, and Flyer Formation. And then finally we have Hot Springs Camilla, Steamy Secrets Camilla, Ouch Pouch Plus with an Attack Refinement, Reposition, Luna, Death Blow 3, Flyer Formation 3, Goad Flyers for the C slot, and Quicken Pulse for the Seal, just so she gets that turn 1 Luna that will ensure a kill early on. So first things first, we're just going to set ourselves up to get Spring Camilla into the thick of the enemy forces. Uh, and before we do that, we just want to set ourselves up over on the left-hand side, uh, and also in the middle to be able to reposition Spring Camilla forward. So naturally, the only two threats to Spring Camilla on this map are the two red units. So we have the Red Mage over here, and we have the Sword Cavalier over here. Now, Sword Cavalier doesn't have any movement shenanigans or teleportation or anything else really to worry about, and he's out of range, so we don't really have to worry about him until turn two. Now, the Red Mage is in the thick of things, so we do want to take him out if possible, and we can, of course, All accomplish right. this by getting Steamy Tonight's Secrets Camilla to engage and proc her Luna on him. There we go, and she's getting all of the flyer buffs she needs to ensure that kill. And then we're just gonna really plant Spring Camilla right on this defense tile. We're not going to attack, we're just gonna sit her up right there, and she can tank everything that she needs to. We'll also set Summer Camilla up next to Vanilla Camilla to get her a home flyers buff for next turn, so she'll be able to handily take out the Fire Sweep Red Cavalier. And as you can see here, Spring Camilla has no issue in tanking everything. Uh, you can even put Close Counter on her in her A slot, and she'll still tank everything. She doesn't need the Triangle Adept, but uh, this was a little bit more efficient for me, so I just decided to keep the Triangle Adept on her. So now we'll just eliminate the only other threat, which is the Sword Cavalier with Summer Camilla. And Summer Camilla is now in the range of the Green Mage, so let's we'll reposition her back. So now, Steamy Secrets Camilla is providing a goad buff to uh, Spring Camilla. Spring Camilla will engage Axe Dragon, take him out or take her out, I should say. And now we're just gonna sit pretty and let the rest of the enemies kinda kill themselves. Charge up Spring Camilla's special so she can retaliate, double back and kill. And then finally, Death Knight is left all by his lonesome. And we can just double and kill him on player phase, as so. So that's it. That's the strategy that I employed with Camilla Emblem to clear the Death Knight's Grand Hero Battle on Infernal Difficulty. Let me know what strategies and teams you ended up using to clear this Infernal Challenge. This map, I will say, is prime for soloing. If you have any tanky unit, you can pretty much just send them in the middle of the defensive tiles, and they can probably tank more or less everything. Fallen Tiki can probably do it. Honestly, any of the dragons could probably do it. Uh, Vanguard Ike could probably do it. Uh, you have a lot of options. Basically, any tanky unit that you have, you can pretty much slap them on that defense tile, and they'll take care of business. So hopefully you enjoyed, and if you did, please feel free to leave us a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more Fire Emblem Heroes content. We thank you all so much for watching and taking some time out of your day to spend with us. We really do appreciate it. And until next time, let's protect those skies.